Hello students, in continuation with our lecture series for quantum statistics, today we are going to discuss the Bose-Einstein statistics. Now, classical statistics failed in explaining certain concepts of black body radiation, etc. This gave rise to quantum statistics under which come two statistics, the Fermi-Dirac and the Bose-Einstein. In today's lecture, we will discuss Bose-Einstein distribution function. Please subscribe to the channel before continuing to hear our lecture series. The most important question in Bose-Einstein statistics is derive an expression for Bose-Einstein distribution function. How are we going to do that? Let us proceed. Now, Bose-Einstein distribution describes the statistical behavior of integer spin particles or the bosons. Now, Basic assumptions of Bose-Einstein statistics are that it is applicable for identical and indistinguishable particles. Any number of particles can occupy a single cell in the phase space. The uh, particles are applicable with integral spin angular momentum. All particles that are obeying the Bose-Einstein statistics are known as bosons. Now, in order to derive an expression, we assume that a box is divided into GI sections by GI minus one partitions and NI indistinguishable particles, which are to be distributed among these sections. So, the number of ways in which Ni particles are to be distributed in Gi sublevels of ith quantum state is given by G is equal to Ni plus Gi minus 1 whole factorial divided by Ni factorial into Gi minus 1 whole factorial. Now, the thermodynamical probability for this will be given by W equal to product into Ni plus Gi minus 1 whole factorial divided by Ni factorial into Gi minus 1 factorial. Now, Ni and Gi are very large in number. So, we are going to neglect 1 in this expression and the expression becomes W equal to product into Ni plus Gi factorial divided by Ni factorial into Gi factorial. Ni and Gi are very large numbers. So we are now going to use Stirling's approximation, which states that when N is a very large number, then log N factorial is equal to N log N minus N. Using this, we get del log W equal to minus of log Ni upon Ni plus Gi del Ni. Now, for the most probable distribution, W should be equal to W maxima. A statistical interpretation of entropy is related to the uncertainty of knowledge about the state of system. Then we equate del log W maxima equal to zero, applying the two subsidiary conditions. First, total number of particles in the system constant, so their variation is zero. Total energy of system constant, hence its variation zero. Similar thing we had done in Fermi, Dirac and Maxwell also. Then we apply the Lagrangian method of undetermined multipliers after applying the two constraints and we get log Ni upon Gi plus Ni plus alpha plus beta epsilon i equal to zero. Rearranging the terms, we get Ni equal to Gi upon e to the power of alpha plus beta epsilon i minus 1. This is the Bose-Einstein distribution function. And in short, you can remember it like this, that the probability that a particle will have energy E in Bose-Einstein distribution is equal to 1 upon a to the power of a into e to the power of 
exponential e to the power of capital E divided by kt minus 1, where k is Boltzmann constant. Next, under what conditions do Bose, Einstein, and Fermi Dirac distribution reach Maxwell Boltzmann distribution? This question has also been asked many number of times. Now, see, the Maxwell Boltzmann statistics is given by g i upon n i equal to e to the power of alpha plus beta epsilon i. The Bose-Einstein distribution is g i upon n i plus 1 equal to e to the power of alpha plus beta epsilon i. And in Fermi-Dirac, it is g i upon n i minus 1 equal to e to the power of alpha plus beta epsilon i. Now, g i upon n i is very large in comparison to unity. Hence, we can write this also as gi upon ni. Now, for large values of gi upon ni, Fermi, Dirac, and Bose-Einstein distribution are going to approach the Maxwell distribution function. Hence, this is the case for normal existence of gases when temperature is not too low and pressure is not too high. Under what conditions? Now see the plot here. You can see Bose-Einstein is higher than the Maxwell-Boltzmann, which is a pure exponential function. Boltzmann statistics is higher than a Maxwell-Boltzmann. And the Fermi-Dirac statistics is always lower than the Maxwell-Boltzmann functions. So at lower energies, Boltzmann is greater than Maxwell is greater than Fermi. Dirac and at higher energies, classical and quantum results become identical. Now, compare Maxwell Boltzmann statistics, Bose Einstein statistics, and Fermi Dirac statistics quickly. Maxwell Boltzmann applies to identical indistinguishable particles. Bose Einstein's do not obey Pauli's exclusion principle, Fermi Dirac obey Pauli exclusion principle. Maxwell-Boltzmann applies to classical particles. Bose-Einstein applies to bosons. Fermi-Dirac applies to fermions. Maxwell-Boltzmann, any spin. Bose-Einstein, the spin is a pure number, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Fermi-Dirac, spin is half integral. Examples for Maxwell-Boltzmann, molecules of gas for Bose Einstein photons and for Fermi Dirac free electrons. The formula for Maxwell Boltzmann it is purely exponential that is 1 upon e to the power of alpha plus beta epsilon i. For Bose Einstein 1 upon e to the power of alpha plus beta epsilon i minus 1 and in Fermi Dirac plus 1. Now, quickly, let us see what we studied in quantum statistics. We studied that quantum statistics for system of particles is giving us the energy distribution as a product of density of states and the distribution function. Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution is used to describe distinguishable particles like ideal gas. The uh, quantum statistics applies for fermions which follow the Fermi-Dirac distribution function. For example, electrons in metal. For bosons, it follows the Bose-Einstein distribution function and uh, Bose-Einstein condensation and thermal radiation are described by it and they serve as a model for superconductivity in and liquid helium explanations. Thank you.